Um. Yep, that's what I was waiting for. Alrighty, guys. So, welcome back to Ark. And I'm just going to say this. You might notice something immediately off the bat. Um, not that. Did not mean to hit escape. Or hit tab. I meant to hit escape. Uh, settings. Video. We're back on Epic. And it's running perfectly fine now. Um, so I found some launch parameters I needed to use. Uh, and once those launch parameters were added in, it fixed up so much. So much. So apparently there's a little problem where uh, when it's trying to render all the 3D models, it will send uh, like a kind of an error to your graphics card and force crash the game. And that's basically what's been happening to me, or what happened to me on episode 2 when I was trying to mess with all that and that happened. But now, like look at this, it looks, it just looks so good. Alright, we're running on epic, epic settings, alright. And it just looks amazing, flawless, smooth, like butter. But if you guys are wondering what the launch parameters are that I used, um, they are going to be on the screen now. And I will also have a link to the guide that I found that told me this. And yeah, so essentially I will give you guys that, all that. I will give you access to the info I have. This game needs this basically to run with how, uh, how like how bad it is apparently because there's people that have it. They're running it on low, and then this packet starts happening, and that's what I'm kind of wondering if that's what was happening to me last time around. Uh, it was just like you know getting a bunch of packets sent to it, um, and there is not where I want to go. Let's not head this way. Uh, I don't think I want to head inland, especially where there's Rexes. Um, there's a Megalodon right there. Huh, you know what? We're going to head, not down this river, but the next river around. Head down towards Green Ob. And kind of down in there, you know? So, now I do know I said I would head inland here. And I am. But I think I need to get a flyer as well. So that might be our goal of this episode is just mostly working on getting us a flyer of some kind. Um, I could head in. No, because I'd have to head up the other way and we'd have to get around to like Carnivore Island for the easiest, I think, for me to like get straight to for an Argentavis besides heading up to the snow biome. Um, but either way, that's all on the other side of the map from me. So I think what I'll do is we'll head inland here just a bit. We'll see if we can find a high-level Pterodon, and we'll tame it up. And here we go. We are now sailing. You gotta be kidding me. We are now stopping <laughs> right here, uh, a good 100 feet from the coast. And you know what? You guys should all be fine. I'm gonna take one of the raptors. And I guess we'll just look around, see if we see any flyers. Um, there's probably not going to be really anything for me to grab and tame up out here. I feel like I'm going to have to follow the coast if I really want to just easily find a pterodon. I'd honestly hope that I would... Oh, there's a bunch over there. Let's go check out these guys. I can at least bother to look. There's one. And then there's a bunch of Brontos. Um, good box. I'm like just irritated. Because I honestly thought I should be, should have been able to go in this, like, in here following the rivers. And it's not. And also that's a Ceratosaurus across the river. That thing is a Cerato. And that thing will hurt me. Um, I'm wondering if I should just get out of here. Maybe get back to the coast. We'll just fuck. You know what? Change of plans. We're just going to follow the coast. We're going to go find us a good Pteranodon of some kind. I might have to run inland up a mountain a, bit, a little bit on one of the back of these raptors I have to uh, go get in some crystal. Cause it's, it'd just be the easiest way to do it. Now, I'm not joking. I quite literally just shoved all my creatures off the raft. 
I worked hard to get these guys on here and in a good, like, yay, they're in a good spot. They won't fall off just for them to run into a rock and get pushed off. Not, not fun. Not pleasant. A little irritating. Uh, Raptor getting stuck underneath the boat is a little irritating. Me getting stuck inside the Raptor that's stuck inside the boat, that's... Alright. This is... Are you serious right now, Ark? The worst part is, it's dropping me, like... How did you even get in here? Come on, get out. Okay, that was stupid. That was so unnecessary. That took so damn long. You... This is... You gotta love early access games, because they just have so many bugs sometimes. And... It is just funny because everyone's losing their shit that Ark Ascended has bugs. All right. What did you expect? It is an early access game. Also, it is a remake of another game. All right. And in my experience in playing remakes of games is that usually that remake tends to have bugs that were in the previous game come back. All right. And a lot of the bugs Ark has had that I have noticed personally are all bugs I have had in the previous game at some point. Alright? Of course, we do get a little wonkiness, like with clipping and all that with creatures. Like how we had the raptor clip into the boat. That's one that's new, and it's irritating, alright? That one, yeah. But, you also gotta remember this. They're working on a new engine and porting stuff older over from an old one. So we are gonna have little bugs. You just gotta give them time to get them fixed. It's not like they're ignoring them, it's just that they're not fixing them on the schedule you would like. And again, also, I do realize a lot of companies half-ass their games, but you also gotta realize this. Wildcard was forced to release Ark Survival Ascended early, and they also originally did not plan on it being paid for. That was all a Snail Games decision, because Snail Games went broke and had to make money to pay for all their stuff. Now, again, we could also tame a Pelagornis. We got one right here. Uh, you know what, though? I really need a Spyglass so I can see them, because I actually have to wait for them to land to actually get a good look at their levels. Come on, if one of these guys lands... That guy, he's not going to land on land. Is he? He's just gonna, yeah, he's just gonna stay up in the sky. Um, you know what? I'll grab this blue drop, and then we'll check. Just we'll look for something. It's either gonna be a Pelagornis or a Pterodon that we tame today. I I just need a flyer, so that way I can go inland further, and hopefully, hopefully I can find a place to set up a base, or we might just do a raft base. But that's also a horrible idea. Because a wrath base could go so wrong so quick. We could have so many problems happen. Uh, oh! oh. That, that, uh, that. Thank you for the crystal. What do I need for a spyglass? Wood fiber and hide. Wood fiber and hide. Wood fiber. Not enough hide. Right? Yep, I'm short sure a couple pieces. Raptors, do you have absolutely any on it? You do. Spyglass. Aha! Didn't even have to go mining this episode, and we got a spyglass just because I was complaining and looked in a drop. Uh, now, with this, we should be able to spot, like, any good creatures. I just see, it, I see one out there. I can't see your level. Why can't I see your level? It's a little irritating. Do I have to be like within a certain range of you to see you? That might be it. Maybe if I get closer. Um, also, I don't know how far inland we're going to be able to go with a raft. I feel like we're going to kind of hit a dead end here real quick. 
Kind of like we did with the other one. Yeah, I can see it. It's like a... There's shallow spots to prevent you from keep it, getting your raft inland. You know? Maybe I can spot you now that we're closer. Level 75. I'd be down for it. If I could... It would just land. If we see it landing, we're going to go for it. I would be it's just... It's a level 75, right? That is not bad at all. The only thing I can think of is if we get a better one. But as of right now, searching for a better Pteranodon is uh, going to be a lot harder than just taming this one. Because it's right there, right? It is right there. We just need it to land. Let's park the boat. Flip it around here. Park you right there. Okay, he's he's landing. He's landing. He's landing. Oh, of course I'm over encumbered. Of course, I forgot to throw this all back in. Throw that in there. Um, I'm gonna need more narco arrows. 100%. Arrow. Um. Right, let's just craft all of them. Uh, it probably be best if we craft them all. I heard something. Oh, he's right there! Let's not waste our bola. This is the one we're taming. We're so taming this. As soon as it lands, I'm gonna go bola it, and then we're gonna hit it with every trank we got. Here we go. One. Two. Three. I killed it. I killed it. What am I supposed to do? I just killed it. I... I am... I'm done. Oh, why? I thought Trank Arrows would... Do I have to club one of these guys? I might have to club it. You know what we're going to do? We'll do. We'll get another Bola. We're just going to get a low level. Because after that, like, again, I thought that one would be our ticket. You know? Level 75. Perfect. Right? It's going to be like 10 arrows. It passes out. But no. Uh, three arrows killed it. it it's... Yeah. That's just, that's just painful. I still can't believe I accidentally killed that Pterodon. I mean, three arrows? Really? That's all it took? On level 75? And it killed it. I, I feel like I'm going to have to use the club. Because it's the only thing that I can probably use that's going to knock it out without killing it. Like, it's just, I don't know what to do now. Like, that was a level 75 Pteranodon. And I killed it. It's just painful. Uh, there, I hear one of you guys above me. They're coming in for a landing. Do I? Want you. I want you. Uh, I need stuff for bolas. Let's just transfer all that. And I'll craft up like a bunch of them. Now... This should be easy. He's, like, right there. Here. Get this last one. Get a club. We're gonna grab a club. He's still there. He's still there. We might be able to do this. I'm okay with a level 70. I just need something to fly me around the damn map. No! No! <laughs> he's flying away. Oh, he's flying back. He's flying in... Oh, okay, that was the bola hitting the ground. Are you serious? I missed that that hard? Like, oh. Well, I don't know if I'm going to get that level 70 Polygoranus now because he's flying out over the ocean. And it doesn't look like he's going to come back down. That's, that's annoying. The fact that I 
whiffed four bola shots because I got impatient is just painful. Just really painful. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Please. Ah! He was sw he was going right for those rocks. Oh, please. Go for the rocks. Go for the rocks. That might do it. You know what? No, I can't. He will drown. He, he will want... Also, I just realized this. I shot the Pteranodon with normal arrows. One more. Um. Yep, that's what I was waiting for. Yeah, he's drowning. He's drowning. So, mistakes have been made twice today. Uh, but now we, we at least figured out how we killed the Pteranodon. And we also figured out how we just killed that Pelagornis. And yeah. I'm just going to say this. I think I suck at taming creatures. You're level 20. I don't want you. I mean, I could try and ramp a Pelagornis onto the boat, bola it, and then, you know. You're level 15. I don't need that one either. Um, I guess I just need to find a, a good tame now. I, I hate the fact that it, it, I've killed two level 70s, essentially, this episode, in the process of taming them, and it's painful. Like, just the fact that I've done that, that's another level 15. I feel like I've already looked at that one as well. I don't know, maybe we'll probably have better luck with the Pteranodon or something. Just need to find a high level flyer without killing it. Now saying that, I realize that it's going to be pretty hard for me because I've just killed two of them in a row. I'm not joking, I have not seen a single other Pteranodon on the side of the beach. And we're almost back down towards Red Ob. We're at where we spawned, this is where we started. Right? I'm just stopping for a green ob. Or not green, a uh, green drop. Like, come on. Oh, rock carrots. Then this is all just thatch. There we go. But, yeah. I'm just having trouble here and I'm losing my mind. Here, have some carrots, my man. You look like, you look like a guy that likes carrots. Okay, so I'm just kind of making an executive decision right now. Um, we're at Rockwell Island, so just gonna hop off. I have not seen a single flyer. I'm like honestly thinking about heading back down that way because I've just not seen any at all. Now I am gonna be out on this raptor. We're just gonna kind of move inland. Maybe we'll see something. Maybe we won't. Um, it's just kind of one of those things today. It's irritating. Nothing's nothing's cooperating and working properly. Or well. It's just me. Honestly, I've not been paying attention, and I've killed two creatures, essentially, because of it. I should not have knocked out that Pelagornis. It would have been just fine if I would have let it just move. I should have removed the bola. But, I, yeah. I got, hey, I got, what is it called? I got rush. I got rushy. I got pushy. Kind of rushed it. But, yeah. Um, I'm not seeing any flyers at all. I'm gonna legit just head back to the other way. I don't... I look like legit... Since we started heading this way, it's been no flyers, so... It's making me think I should probably head back down that other way, because we could at least... We could head to... Ooh, we could head to Hor Herbivore. Um, I do know that Pelagornis do spawn there. But, and, you know what? We could also just head back to Herbivore. Grab a bunch of, uh... Metal again, or more metal. Also, we got this rock wall now. Close that real quick. Boom. So that's also going to be some levels that we get. And then we also got 
a Fiomia saddle, some citrus, that, um, I should be grabbing this stuff, but I'm not. I really should. Maybe I should stock up on those. Maybe I shouldn't. But as for now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with the I shouldn't. I'll be fine without them. Um, but that might bite me in the butt one of these days. Alrighty, I've also just said full on. Let's not even worry about lead sick this anymore. Level five. You, you're look Paris. How are? That's what you are. What are these? Level fifty. Okay, that wouldn't that one wouldn't be bad. Level twenty. Um, I think. We can definitely find a higher level one. Especially one that's not out in the middle of the ocean. That'd probably be best, too. Oh, oh, oh! That's a level 20. I don't want it. That, that, that guy legit just, like, walked onto my boat. I was about to bowl at him. He's only a level 20. If it was a level 50, level 70, I would've. I would've. You know what? I've been looking for a bird for so long. We're just gonna ramp this pink one onto the boat. And we're gonna bolo it level 10 I don't think I want to do that <laughs> also why did why won't you bowl up like you went right under why'd the other guy ramp here let's see if I can get you to ramp yourself on yeah you're on hi um I just legit should probably just find well we're done looking <laughs> Level 80 here on the boat. What are you? I bet there's some high level ones around level 5. Level 80. Maybe. That pink one, basically, we put the boat in front of it and it landed, walked onto the boat. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, maybe. If he doesn't turn, damn it. He turned on me. Flip. Boom. Ooh, no. That's bad. That's really bad. Ooh, that's bad. That Inky's in the water. Parasaur's... Ah, dang it. And you know what? It's, like, almost impossible now to get them on the boat. <laughs> so. Ooh, hold up. I got you on the boat. Nice. I mean... Need to watch where I'm going. That's twice today that I've done that. I thought I swung wide enough there. It was not even close. Don't worry, Inky. I'll get you here in a second. I know. You're sitting here bobbing up and down. Probably not the best. Flip around here real quick. Um... Like, why are you sinking, my man? No, thank you. He's done sinking. Alright, we need to get level 80 on the raft. I feel like you are not the level 80. Where'd Bird go? Bird's out front. I don't think this is a level 80 whatsoever. But I think as well... If I can get the raft in front of it, that is the level 80. Now, there are definitely 100% better ways to do this. You can make a ramp on the front of your boat to pull them up on it and push them up out of the water. Um, but, like, as of now, like, if I just go straight over him, he will get run over and get pushed under the boat. So, huh, let me... Let me just keep track of him. Maybe he'll land on land. Maybe I can get him on the boat. But we'll figure this out. As I say that, he looks like he's going for land. And now he's not. Okay, okay, okay. You cocksucker. I can't say that on YouTube. There we go. Hey, buddy. Welcome to getting tranked. One. Two. Oh, that's perfect. Now he is on the boat, too. Ah, oh, we got a Pelagonis! 
We got it. This was... The fact that I've killed two birds today as well is not the... Is not really... Yeah. But... Hey! We got, we got this one. Uh, after. After I've killed two birds. Let's keep that in mind. Also, I need to figure this out because I'm getting ascendance out of green drops and I don't like it. And I don't know how to fix it. Okay, so I've given it meat, I believe is what it takes. Yeah, it just needs meat. Also, I opened my smithy. And so it's not going to need the citrus fruit I got here. So let's just throw those in there. You know what, let's give you to the packy. There's like no room on this boat anymore. Damn. If we're running out of room. We really should probably look for a base location as well next episode. Oh, the Pelagornis is also almost tamed. It, I think it ate one. Is that all it ate? Was just one? Again, just stamina and movement speed on you. Um, you're gonna throw me off. When I, yeah, the Pelagornis is quite literally just like in the middle of my raft now, and it's taking up all the room. Like, Bouncing off of him. Like, oh, you're at 13%. Okay. Uh, we should be good. I don't think you'll... Yeah, you'll be fine. This is just going to take a minute. Um, hopefully we don't lose too much efficiency. Okay, so he's got one more feed. Um, but we've only lost technically plus one level. That's the only thing we, we've lost. So instead of this being plus 39, it's probably going to be plus 38, plus 37, I feel like. Um, I don't want to give him more, more narcotics because I feel like he's he's going to be, he's going to eat like right as I give him more narcotics. So I'm just going to hold. He should, he should absolutely tame here on the next food. Just depending on when that is. Um, it has gotten dark here as well. Can I turn on the fire to get some light? Please. Oh, although, oh yeah, no, I forgot on on the raft the light the lighting's a little thing because this would is it the lighting really isn't working on the rafts. Uh, I guess that's because they're moving structures. Also, Pelagornis, nice, welcome, welcome, buddy. You take up a lot of the raft. Just letting you know. Um, and it looks like we got the plus thirty eight to him. So, what do I need here for a Pelagorna saddle? This should be pretty easy. Pella. Nope. Oh, is it in here? Pella. Pelagorna saddle. I might just need hide. Right? I just need hide. That actually is going to probably be the easiest thing for me to get. Because I can just find a Parasaur on the beach and eat it with two raptors. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? For now, I'm going to just head straight back to Herbivore Island. Um, we've had metal going the entire episode. Uh, so we've got a bunch of metal inside that furnace and all that. So what I'd like to do is we're going to head back out to Herbivore Island, like I just said. Now, once we get to Herbivore Island, we are going to get hide. We're going to get wood. We're going to get just basically a bunch of building resources while we're here. Stock up. Load up the raft. Get more metal. Get a saddle here for the Pelagornis. And ne the next episode, when it starts, what I will do is I'll leave the raft here, just for safekeeping, at Herbivore Island. Fly off on the Pelagornis and look for a spot to build a base. That that seems like a pretty decent plan for next episode. And I feel like that's probably what we should do. And that's probably exactly what I am going to do. And here we are, Herbivore Island. This actually was a fairly easy trip. I, again, I've been sticking to the coast and it's taken me, like, because I stick to the coast, it takes me a little bit to get to places. But, like, when you just go straight out there, like, you get so much area. Is that a, oh, that's an Archelon. A turtle. That's a turtle. Anyways, um, that's probably going to be it for this episode, honestly. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just gather up stuff. Uh, get high, get a saddle for the Pelagornis. Uh, yeah, and I honestly would probably just gonna go take out this Fiomia here that's right in front of me to do that. But yeah, anyways, it's been Gunshine Mori signing off.